Zog Miner, Zcash AMD GPU Miner for Linux. Developed by Nathan Jennifer, Omar Alaves, and Age Manning. You can go to Nathan's GitHub page at github.com backslash N-G-I-N-N-E-V-E-R backslash Zogminer. If you scroll down, you'll see the installation instructions. You have to make sure that you have OpenCL installed. If you have AMD GPU Pro installed, that will be installed. Next is to install the dependencies for Ubuntu. I'm going to copy the sudo apt-get install command. Open a terminal, paste it into the terminal, hit enter. Type in my password, hit enter. Y, yes, enter. This will install the dependencies which are needed to install Zogminer. That's done. Now we can go ahead and fetch the repository. I'm going to copy the git clone command, paste it into the terminal, hit enter. Now change the directory to zogminer, copy the cd zogminer command, paste it into the terminal, hit enter. Now fetch the parameters, copy the fetch parameters command, paste it into the terminal, hit enter. This takes a very long time. It's basically installing Zcash. So just be patient when this finishes, when all of this is installed and done, it'll be worth it. That's done, so we can go ahead and run the build. I'll copy the build command, paste it into the terminal, and hit enter. This also takes a very, very long time, so just be patient. That's finished. It's installed, so we can go and run the command to run the miner. You see in the command that you should put in your pool address, your T address, and a password. I have my command already made here in this text document. I've included a genproc limit switch, genproc limit equals 1. I'm going to copy this command, paste it into my terminal, and hit enter. And this will run one instance of Zogminer on one GPU. If you want to add an extra instance to the GPU, you can run a second command as you see in my text file. The first command has a rig name of Crypto1. The second one has a name of Crypto2. So you can copy the second command in another terminal and run that, and that will run two instances on one GPU. If you want to run more GPUs, you can use the dash G switch and add numbers after that and combine that with different rig names to get more instances on more GPUs. You can use the dash G switch with a number after it like 0 or 1, 2, 3, 4, the number of your GPU and then change your rig name so that you have a different rig name for each instance of Zogminer. Now we're not actually going to use this command to run Zogminer but I'm just showing you this so that you know this is the general command to run the Zogminer. Here you can see 12 instances running on 6 GPUs, so 2 instances per GPU. I've created a command for each instance and ran them. In the bottom right hand corner you can see Serif's Hotspot CPU Miner mining, so you can mine with CPU and GPU at the same time. Again we're not going to do it this way, this is the hard way to do it. This is the way we're going to do it, we're going to use Zogminer add-on by my good friend Slim. You can go to his GitHub page at github.com backslash slym85 backslash zogminer dash add-on. Click on clone or download and then download the zip file. 
If we scroll down, we can see his instructions. It says it's to run two instances per GPU of Zog Miner. He runs it on Ubuntu 15.10. I'm using 16.04. The prerequisites are TypeScript, more utils, and screen. You can run the command here to install the prerequisites. So I'm going to copy the command, open a terminal, paste the command into the terminal, and hit enter to install my prerequisites. Now if you have any problem with this command, if it doesn't install everything, use the three commands below. sudo apt-get install npm, npm install dash g typescript, and sudo apt-get install more utils screen. The next step is to put the script in the Zogminer folder and run it after editing your wallet, pool, GPU, donation address, and max time. Max time is the maximum lag time allowed before restarting the miner. Be aware there is some lag from the time the miner executes hashes and the time the script writes it in the file. He has a good result with 300 seconds for his max time. I also have a good result with 300 seconds. It's reliable, it's stable, it doesn't crash, so I use that. He then says improvement CLI will be added ASAP. He's already added the CLI script, so I'm going to be using the CLI script, not the first autostart.sh script. He's also added a version 2 CLI script, but I find that crashes a little bit. So I think he needs to improve on that. I think he's going to improve on that soon. Maybe when you download the package, you will be able to run an updated CLI script. But for now, we're just going to run the version 1 script. So, you can go and open the containing folder that your download is in, and then extract the file. So again, we're just going to use Zogminer add-on CLI. We're not going to use the version 2 yet. I'm going to copy the file, and backtrack to my home folder, and then Zogminer folder, and paste the file into the Zogminer folder. I'm going to open it up because I need to edit it. I'm going to open up my wallet addresses and copy my wallet address dot rig name. I'm going to paste that in over the default wallet address. Now again, you can use whatever rig name you want after your address. The next thing is the pool. We want to make sure that we have the pool we want in the pool setting. He's using Flypool, so I'm going to use Flypool also. You can use the US server, EU server, or CN server. Next is GPUs. You can put how many GPUs you have there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. I'm going to use 6, so I'll keep 6 in there. Max time equals 300 is the next setting. I'm going to keep 300. You can edit that and change it if you want. Donate equals 1 enables donations. If you don't want to use donations, you put donate equals 0. But I recommend you do make donations because these guys worked a long time on this. They worked very hard on this, and it works very well. Donate wallet. You can change the default address to any of the three addresses below. Right now it's using the first address below, Omar Alvarez. But you can change it to Nathan's or Age's address so that your donations get spread through the three wallets. So I'm going to save this file and then close it. And then I'm going to open up a terminal from the Zogminer folder. Now I need to make this file executable. So I'm going to type in chmod space plus x space zogminer add-on cli and hit enter. That will make the file executable. Now I want to run the file, so I'm going to type in dot backslash zogminer add-on cli and hit enter. This will run the script and start all of my GPUs with two instances on each GPU. Just give it some time to start up. It needs to start up each GPU. This script will automatically restart any GPUs that fail, so you don't have to worry about coming back and checking to see if one's failed, to see if it's crashed. It'll automatically restart them. Now we can see the GPU starting up. And now they're all started and hashing away. So we can see there's two threads, two instances on each GPU. And this miner with this script is very reliable, very stable. I've left it on for 10, 12 hours. The only reason why I had to turn it off was to restart and make this video. So I highly recommend using this miner and this script. You don't have to worry about coming back and checking to see if everything's okay. It should run smooth for you.
Here we can see the auto run.sh script running. And you can see it just doesn't tell you the speeds, but it runs two instances on each of the GPUs automatically. And if a GPU fails, it'll restart the GPU. So I hope you like this video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.